I'm Mark Frank's Mars. I don't like using Washington compost for science stories or anything else, but we'll make an exception to this one time. NASA is sending a space probe called the Parker Space Probe to the sun. It's going to go there this summer. It's going to come within uh, 4 million miles of the sun and study the atmosphere there. It's actually a practical idea because the sun, of course, affects everything here on Earth. And our civilization has gotten so technologically advanced that the sun burps, it could screw us up badly. So, we'll take a, we'll go to the NASA site. The sun is a dynamic star. White Parker's stuff, solar probe. We live in the Earth's and the sun's atmosphere. The mission will provide insight and a critical link in the sun-earth connection. It will be key to understanding and perhaps forecasting space weather. We need to go so close because corona is unstable, producing solar wind, layers of ma coronal mass ejections. We need to study at the source. Millions of tons of highly mag magnetized material can erupt from the sun at speeds of several million miles an hour, fast enough to get from Washington to LA in seconds. Wow. Uh, it goes on to talk about the corona and solar wind and all that. We live in the atmosphere of the sun. Physics of the corona and inner heliosphere connect the activity of sun to the environment and technological infrastructure of the work Earth will drive the fundamental physics of the heliosphere, aurora, and magne magnetosphere of Earth and other planets. Help us improve satellite communication, power grid issues, pipeline erosion, radiation exposure on airline flights, astronaut safety. Then we can explain what's going on close up the sun. We'll not be able to accurately predict space weather effects that can cause havoc on Earth. Uh, okay. So, you expect to be able to forecast space weather when you can't get an accurate forecast half the time here on this planet? I'm not getting this. NASA's historic Par Sol Parker Solar Probe mission will revolutionize our understanding of the sun. SPP will s swoop closer to the sun's surface than any spacecraft before it, facing brutal heat and radiation conditions. Spacecraft will come as close as 3.9 million miles to the sun, and well within the orbit of Mercury and more than seven times closer than any spacecraft has come before. To perform these unprecedented investigations, spacecraft and instruments will be protected from the sun's heat by a 4.5 inch thick carbon composite shield, which will need to withstand temperatures outside the spacecraft and nearly 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. All I'm going to say is, I'm going to wish NASA luck on this one. I'm kind of skeptical, but hey, if they pull it off, more power to them. Hopefully, hopefully it won't go flying into the sun and then burn up. I wouldn't want to waste the project, so I wish them luck. That's about all I can do. I'm Artifacts of Mars. And this has been your Mad Science Update for today. Not doing much for a while, but I couldn't resist this one. Thanks.